scissors are up here, tape's in the back. Some of us might actually finish getting all the cues done in the equations, and then we're going to put all of these figures together, and it should make something. Well, the project we're doing right now is called the Puzzle Cube. After we had finished the equations to make them and folded them so they're in the right shapes, and we're making them into the cube. Mr. Moser described it as sort of like cracking a code, where we have to, we can't solve for one variable without solving for another variable, and that's how we get the lengths of each side. So that's three plus six equals nine. So this side is equal to two. So then this side is nine. So somehow, why would it be? It it gets difficult, but. The partner that I'm working with um, helps like fill in the pieces to the puzzle that I don't get. It sort of gets rid of any barriers I may have of being shy about asking questions. The project-based learning has been a new way to teach. Um, I've always wanted to get more relatable to the kids. Um, and I do believe that the project-based learning is, is helping in that manner. There's this feeling in the room that it's OK to talk about things, that it's OK to um, be hands-on to make mistakes. I'm not really good at equations. I'm good at solving them, but I'm not good at making them. And we do a lot of equations in Mr. Moser's class. The project's helping me. Well, now I'm getting a little bit of a basis on how to write the equations, what to look for. The summer program did help because I didn't know that Algebra 1 would be such a big step up from pre-algebra. The summer pre-algebra class, we did projects just like this with the same type of equations and trying to solve, and it was fun. Connected was working with engineering pathways and saw that students weren't having success in their classes because they were coming in with low pre-algebra and algebra skills. So we wanted to apply what we know about best learning practices and best teaching practices and develop a curriculum that had students actually build and engage around a STEM-related project. The students who have been with me since summertime, they've really showed an increase in teamwork. They've really um, done much better when it comes to comprehending and struggling and, and getting through uh, their weaknesses and making them strengths. Analyzing the benchmark one test scores that we just took, the comprehension of equations was much better than any other subject that we did. So when we actually did the project-based learning and they had to work with the equations and they were given time to work on it and, and feel it out and talk it out for a period at a time without being time constrained, they scored, I believe it was somewhere like 87% proficient. So 87% of them were able to get that standard. And when we did the direct teaching of slope, we were somewhere around like the 76% not proficient. We got it? Yes, we do! Oh. A puzzle cube! Yay. And all pieces fit. I feel like a better math student because um, I gotta put equations together like without having the teacher come back and forth to me helping me out. I'm figuring out a lot of stuff I didn't think of before and it it's really fun because you know I once you start to get it you feel like a genius. For me learning isn't textbook, textbook, textbook. I do better if it's project based. Doing a project is always something new and it's a new experience every day. <laughs>